welcome to the future in movies. Uh, I have some questions that I'd like you to think about, and you need to answer these questions later. First question is, uh, why are you here? Next, um, what's your major? We'll, we'll give you a chance to answer these questions later. Uh, next question is, um, do you want to speak English in this class? And the next question is, do you want me to speak English in this class? I'm speaking English now. Uh, next, oh, there's another question. Next question, this is a more general question. This is the, the basic, the main question, the most important question for this class, which is what will happen in the future? What, when I say the future, I'm thinking of the next 50 years. And what's going to happen? Uh, so, the plan for this course then, we're, we're going to look at some movies, we're going to watch some movies, and we're going to watch maybe a scene, one or two scenes from the movie, then we'll ask some questions and discuss the themes in those movie scenes, and hopefully by looking at these movies and by discussing these movie scenes, um, we're going to make some predictions about the future and try and think about where we're going. Uh, the, when I talk about the future, uh, when I talk about movies, um, I'm talking about near future science fiction. And these, this is a genre of movie, and they're usually set kind of around 20 to 50 years in the future. And they use existing science, so usually there is no new science in these movies, but often the technology has developed. So they've taken the science and technology we know now and looked forward to how they're going to be in something like 20 or 50 years. So um, 20 or 50 years is um, long enough that things can change. Things can change quite a lot in 20 years, but we'll still be here. So this is a world that is possible for us. It's not a thousand years in the future. It could be in our lifetimes. Maybe not my lifetime, but probably your lifetime. So often as well, science fiction um, looks at a different kind of society. So taking the world that we have now and looking at all the possible directions we could go in and the different kinds of society that we can have, uh, these movies look at that and look at what we could be and how we could run our world. Um, now, when we're talking about movies, there's a lot of jargon, there's a lot of technical words about movies. Some of them, um, for example, plot um, is just a name for the story. The uh, screenplay is um, a written version of a movie which they use when they're making the movie. Um, the subtext is a hidden, um, maybe less obvious meaning to what's actually spoken in a movie and what you can read in the screenplay. Um, Utopia is... A Greek word, utopia is a perfect world. Um, dystopia, on the other hand, is a world that is not perfect. It's a utopia that's gone wrong. Um, and apocalypse is a devastating event that has killed most of the people in the world. Uh, we often have apocalypses or post-apocalyptic movies. Um, a premise, now the premise is the idea behind a movie. So when we're looking at movies in the future, um, they're usually set, for example, there has been an apocalypse and this is after the apocalypse or something has happened or something is different, something has changed. That's the premise of the movie. Uh, so all science fiction movies um, have a, there's a basic idea from which the movie is built, from which the story is set. 
Um, more jargon, um, the suspension of disbelief, uh, which is very important for all movies. Uh, basically, what, what movies do is they they often have things that we know are wrong, but when we're watching the movie, we stop thinking that this is wrong and we just go and we follow the movie. That's the suspension of disbelief. Um, a plot device is um, an idea in the movie. Often the movie has a story, the movie has a plot, and the story needs to keep going. And often things happen in the movie just to keep the story going. And um, a MacGuffin is an example of this. Um, this is a um, this is a bit of a dialogue from a, a Hitchcock explanation, Alfred Hitchcock. Um, what's that package up there in the baggage rack? Oh, that's a MacGuffin. What's a MacGuffin? It's an apparatus for trapping lions in the Scottish Highlands. But there are no lions in the Scottish Highlands. Ah, well then, that's no MacGuffin. So, the aims of the course then. Uh, the aim, the main aim is to think about the future. And in doing so, we're going to be listening to movies in English. So you have a chance to practice listening in English. Um, there will be opportunities, I hope, for you to speak English, talk to each other in English. Um, and, of course, to enjoy movies is another aim of the, the course. Uh, there will be um, weekly quizzes and forums on eAlps. So every week I'll add something on eAlps. And I will be expecting a presentation from you um, in probably weeks 13 or 14. So towards the end, maybe January, um, you'll have to give some kind of presentation, which we'll talk about that later. Um, for homework, you need to join the class. I guess you've done that. Uh, join eAlps. You must have done that because this is on eAlps. Um, you need to write in the forum and there is there will be a quiz. And um, the forum, so what I'd like to think about for, for the forum is about the future. So what kind of issues do you think we will face in the future? And what do you think will happen? in let's say the next 50 years. So I'd like you to make a prediction, uh, something that's gonna happen in the next 50 years. Uh, and think about how likely, how, how likely do you think that is to happen? Now, if you go to the, the class, uh, it looks something like this. Uh, there's a forum you can see there, and you can add a new discussion topic to the forum. And when you're writing in the discussion, in the topic, you first of all get to write a subject. Um, please don't write my prediction in the subject. Don't write what will happen in the future. And please also don't write the same as someone else. So I'd like you to write an original idea, your idea, your prediction for what you think will happen in the future. Um, when you've done that, then you can read other people's ideas, and I'd like you to reply to two or three people, give them some comments, give them your ideas, and good luck. <laughs>